Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I know what you're thinking, you're thinking that is not a flower field behind you and it certainly isn't and that's because we have started our harvest on the farm. I was super excited about filming this because as I said to you in the past I wanted to start showing you a bit more of what goes on in general on our farm. So. Uh, I've left Rob really to his own devices to film a lot of this so I'm really not sure what the content's going to be like so I'll probably just put some clips of what's been going on in the last two days and uh, put a bit of music over it or something like that depending on the quality of the footage that I've been provided with. The other thing I just wanted to mention is, um, I don't know if Rob's already explained it, but we got a brand new combine this year so that's why there's been some extra bit of hype around harvest this year and um, Rob's been super excited to, to try out this new combine. So as you can see behind me we have been combining winter barley, um, I'm sure Rob's explained that hopefully in, in his videos um, and then the straw is ready to be bailed, ready to use in the stables that we have on the farm. I hope you enjoyed this video, let me know whether you uh, like to see this kind of farming content. I know in the past I said about maybe setting up a separate channel for the farming um, things that might be something that we do in the future but I'm not sure about that yet because these videos are probably going to be few and far in between so I hope you enjoy and let me know what you think down in the comments below only been sprayed off since uh, Thursday last week. I was hoping to sort of give it a good 10 days or more, but the forecast for the weekend was really bad. Um, so we thought we might as well try and get it done now. 16%, which is fairly good. It's going to be below 15 uh, for store on 7. Um, so yeah, it's going really well. It's a new combine to me as well this year, so it's a little bit of getting used to it. The joystick, it's, uh, it's different on this one. The other one used to be like a stalk type button to just a slightly different position, and it's just you get so used to one the way one thing works, and when you start using it, uh, the new one, it's uh, confusion. So I'm just getting a bit blocked up again. Yeah, the straw is slightly green still, which isn't ideal. So it, yeah, like I said, bigger combine in general, it's a rotary this one, so a rotary hybrid, uh, Lexington 714, the old one's a, oh God, what was it, 2003. Uh, like this year, the 46 evolution, so it's quite an old machine. Just draw one there. This is going to take some getting used to because <laughs> everything just keeps going wrong with a camera that is. Um, so Sarah just rang me, that's, what, uh, that's why I did that video just then. So I said that Ellie had done a, a runner from the house and she was on her way to the field. Anyway, one of the girls that's leading conference, but I said she managed to catch her. But yeah, so she ran about a mile from the house. She'd come with me this morning um, and obviously decided that she wanted to come back. So she's sat down there absolutely shattered, bless her.
So I'm just back at the farm and I thought I would show you the corn store. Um, here we are. Here's all the barley behind me. And this, I think, is being tipped straight onto the floor in here. Uh, next door, in the shed next door, we have a dryer, which um, the corn goes into and then uh, is put into here once it's uh, at the right moisture level. So, um, but I, I think that the moisture must be right um, and they're not actually drying any at the moment. That's what I think anyway. That's because the, because the dryer is not running, I presume that is, that is true. Uh, and I'll show you the dryer. So, there's a pit here. So the tractors come in here, uh, back in, and then tip into that pit there. And then this big dryer behind me dries it and then puts it into the shed next door so that it's at the right moisture level. Right then, it's our second day today, just among barley, so I've put it up tomorrow and fueled up and blown the radio, so just really have to sort of do every, every 10 hours or so. So we've done all that, and now we're just heading down, we're going to put the header on, so it takes about 10 minutes to drive down to the field, so I'll turn you around and take you on the journey. Thank you so much for watching this week's video guys i really hope you enjoyed it and i'd love to know what you think down in the comments below and if you've got any questions for rob then put them in the comments and i will get him to reply to you on those and um i'm just in the workshop now back doing flowers again today um, we have finished doing our spring uh, sorry our winter barley so we are just waiting now for the rape to be ready before we start combining again uh, and we are hoping that we will get the straw bailed um, and brought in before it rains this weekend. We're supposed to be getting some rain. Um, I think the farmers uh, are praying for uh, no rain and I'm playing, pay, praying for rain because I really want some for my flowers. Um, so yeah, I'm just in my workshop and I've got a sneaky little surprise up there for you. So you've got a little sneak peek if you've watched to the end of the video um, or if you follow me on Instagram, I've been posting about uh, my workshop on Instagram. Um, I'm hoping to film this weekend a workshop tour um, of my workshop just so that you can see the finished result um, of the shipping container conversion that we did in here. 
Um, so I hope you will subscribe if you're not already subscribed and you are going to watch my future videos. And as ever, thanks to everybody who watches my videos uh, every week or every time that I post them. It really means a lot um, that you follow me and uh, give me the support. So thank you very much, guys, and I'll see you again next time.